Okay, welcome back to Mr. Turner's art class. Now, this lesson here uh, is very similar to one I've already done. I'm working with my middle school kids. They had to make a body paint. Well, my uh, elementary kids, they're going to be making watercolors. And the process is really simple. And uh, just like I was telling the middle school, uh, middle school kids, well, you can make your paint with just stuff that's more than likely just laying around the house, you know, uh, because um, because we still got the you know the viruses going on and stuff like that. A lot of parents either you know can't get don't want to get out, can't get out, or you know uh, or whatever for whatever reason you know. So I'm like, you can st make your own paints. So I'm about to show you how. All you need is a couple of little things. One, you're going to need for this project, you're going to need some baking soda. Okay. Two, you will need some cornstarch. You will need some vinegar. Okay. That is apple cider vinegar, but you know, I, you can just just use regular vinegar. Okay. And let me see. That should be um, about it. Okay. So, and you also you're gonna need some food. Um, you'll need some food coloring, okay? And preferably you just need uh, RGB colors, so uh, red, green, blue. I'm gonna use this yellow anyway, just because it's there. Don't want it to feel left out. Now, you will need something to mix it in. Say you will need some measuring spoons. You will need a spoon, okay? Now, you, if you're looking right there, that is uh, another type of paint, you know, that is my body paint, we're going to make something simple. Um, you will need a container to put it in. Now, yeah, I have an art tray right here, but you can, honestly, you can use carton of eggs or ice tray or just if you have like little, little bottles or whatever, whatever you, uh, you can think of or you can use that you can put your watercolors in. Now, okay, so let's go ahead, so let me see. Out of the way. Go ahead and get this. Uh, we are going to use, starting out, you're going to use one tablespoon. Okay, so. Okay, so we're going to use the baking soda here. So we're going to put four of them in there. One. Making a mess already. Two. I'm using round uh, scoops. Go to the cornstarch. And I'm going to be honest with you, there's different ways to do this. This is just one way. One. My way, I guess. Two. Three. You know, there's always more than one way to do do everything. And for the little ones, I would highly recommend you take some newspaper or something of that nature and you put that uh, on the table or a drop cloth or what, uh, whatever. This is a half. I really don't need a, a great deal of this, but I'm going to put that in there. And yes, it's going to fizz up. The kids will probably love that. And then I am going to mix it all up. And I can, actually, I can use a little bit more. Based on the amount we're making, let's just use work. And yeah, just use one tablespoon. One tablespoon will be fine. I mean, teaspoon. Yeah, right there. Yeah, we get it good and fizzy. Kids are like that. Like the pop rocks. Now, we got to keep stirring it. We got to keep stirring it until we get it to a paste. You got, and that's going to take a minute. Okay, so you just got to keep going, keep going, keep going. And 
see how it's starting to I would say you got to keep doing it until it pretty much becomes glue. Okay, you kind of see how that's how that's doing. Okay, so I'm going to take that paste. It's already trying to harden put some in there. Okay, that's in there. Then I am going to take the food coloring. One, two, three, four. <laughs> well, we don't want all that in there. Grant, it would make it good and dark. Okay, now we just got to do this. Now, depending on how dark you want it, you know, you might have to put, you can put extra drops in there. And you want to go all the way around. You want to get rid of all the color. I don't want to see any of that white or whatever color that is. There you go. Now, that's looking uh, pretty good. Now, we can't use it yet. That's the thing. You have to let it harden. So you're gonna have to let that sit out. In fact, I'm gonna clean this off. I'm gonna clean this brush. I mean, this spoon off. Take a little bit more. I know that's the part that most, most little kids are not gonna. Like, I want to use it now. You can't. It's gotta harden. So you're gonna let it sit out. In fact, I'm gonna take some more of that. Take some red. Yes, it is a little bit messy, but art is messy, and that is the fun part. Put four drops. The red. And make sure you're using a clean spoon. Make sure your spoon is clean. And we go through. Make our red. With that velvet, that red velvet. contaminated my paint. Don't want to do that. I'm using a little napkin right there just just to clean it off and get some more. Put that over here. It's already starting to get already starting to get hard. It's not gonna take very long. Two, three, four. You can do five. You want it to be good and strong. But three or four drops really is good enough. See, that's already starting to get there. That Hulk, that green look like Marvel Comics Hulk. Make 
make sure there is no white showing. And that's all it is to it. Okay, so that's just giving you an idea of how to do this. I mean, uh, it's just that simple. And now all I have to do is take, uh, I can leave it in here, which I am, and then I just let this dry out. Once that dry, uh, dries out, um, I can just take a paintbrush, take a paintbrush, dip it in some water, rub it across um, there, and then I have my watercolors. You know, it's just that simple. It's just that easy, you know. So you just uh, just experiment, play, um, play around with it, but trust me, have fun. And this is actually a lot cheaper than going out and buying a whole bunch of paints because you can just make the stuff yourself. Now that you know the secret. Okay, so I hope that helps. You know, uh, you enjoy creating your watercolors, and I will add to this project uh, in class. But for everybody else, you just like doing watercolors, you know, just enjoy. Enjoy painting something, create something beautiful, you know, with your, your watercolors that you've made. All right, hope that helps. Y'all take it easy. Peace.